I think this is a very uh, great initiative and uh, the efforts that have been uh, done by the EUC uh, it's really uh, very important to bring all the, uh, stakeholders, uh, public, uh, officials and uh, private sector, academia, uh, also NGOs together to discuss the issue of the climate change. Climate change is a global issue. It's not only for Egypt. Egypt might be affected strongly by the climate change, but it's really important to, to have this kind of uh, discussion and uh, very important also for the youth and the young researchers to understand how the process of the climate change is moving forward and what are the challenges, what are the rules of the academia to find a solution uh, in uh, this topic. As I have been mentioning in the, in the discussion that during COP27 there will be a, a day for science and technology. So the scientific uh, uh, and the academia institutions will be part of the process to discuss their uh, rules, their initiative, they have case studies, best practices to be uh, uh, presented uh, although that there will be uh, more than 198 countries will be attending. So this is a very good opportunity for them. Also there will be a day for solutions. So it's also a, a day that will be also very good for the academia and uh, of course UC and the other uh, universities to also uh, put their uh, insights the reflections and also to understand more and listen to the challenges that we are facing here. Today was really a fantastic event because it brought together uh, researchers like myself with students and policymakers in Egypt who are all interested in climate change and to talk about how research rigorous research can shed light on this important issue of climate change. Yeah, the purpose of these, the purpose of these events is to uh, get us to think more carefully about uh, climate change and to base our decisions in dealing with climate change on rigorous evidence. And so these events help bring that rigor, rigorous evidence to the policy space uh, and help us do things like uh, uh, construct policies to uh, adapt to climate change. You know, we cannot, no one can solve uh, climate change alone. So by the very definition, we have to do, uh, do it through partnership. And this particular partnership with JPAL and the American University of Cairo is a great opportunity to bring uh, UNICEF, which has its feet, let's say, in the field, uh, university, which is a place of learning, and then a research center all together to talk uh, about issues that we hold dear and which are integral to uh, human development and achieving the SDGs. Well. Uh, I think the, that uh, the Ministry of Higher Education is working towards ensuring that climate change does indeed feature at uh, university level. But I think each university presumably has its own processes on how to do that. As, U as UNICEF, we would call for uh, all academic institutions to look for ways in which they can ensure that uh, learning and knowledge around climate change is available for all students.